the second circle is your temperature gauge and it starts from 3710, 115, 120 which is at the temperature at which is you would saute and then one further is called Varoma which is the steaming temperature and that means that it creates for you 100 degrees of steam. So whenever you're steaming anything in the, in the Thermomix, we, and I'll show you the various baskets for doing that, you set it at Varoma. If you set it for 100 degrees and try and steam, it won't do it. Simmering basket is so useful for doing little bits of steaming or for steaming your potatoes or making the most amazing rice. I swear by it for making rice now. Um, and it doesn't look like it holds a lot, but the way it works, the, the rice will double in amount. It's pretty stunning, actually. Um, and I've done some videos on cooking rice as well, which you can have a look at on my channel. So the simmering basket goes in there, and you, as I said, set it on Varoma to steam anything. You can be making a soup and steaming something, something in the basket whilst it, the soup is cooking and then there is a further basket which is called the Varoma and the Varoma basket goes on top without the measuring cup there's a sort of ring around the lid to hold it in place there's a Varoma tray that sits inside the Varoma basket and then you have the Varoma lid and that sits on top and you can do the most amazing steaming you can steam rice in there and cooking rice in the stock that then becomes a soup. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, one thing to know about the Varoma is that the lid should never be put on anything more than 100 and on a hot surface basically, I think is the best way to describe it, because it will warm. So make sure that um, it can obviously go up to 120 degrees, but no more, so don't put it on a stove that's hot. And when you take the lid off, make sure do it away from your face. So you do it in the front like that. You turn it over and then the, the lid becomes a great tray for catching all the liquids in the, in the, um, that come from your aroma when it's steaming. There is this little guard. It's sort of the guard that you use when you are doing hot temperatures and you are required to put that there as a safety feature so you don't get burnt. The hot temperatures that you can't access from here because it only goes up to 120 degrees are takes the thermomix, this particular model, PM6, to 160 degrees, but only using cookie dough recipes. So you can't control the heat at 160 degrees for any of your own recipes. So bear that in mind. And I have to show you this amazing spatula as well. It looks like a plain old spatula. It's got a skirt which obviously, oh let me take this in the basket out. It's got a skirt which stops the blade from, or stops the spatula from getting down to the blade and it's angled in such a way and it shows you the angle by this little bit of the skirt where um, it's pointy and the idea is that it then you can then angle it and wipe down food as you're stirring inside from the sides of the bowl. So it's quite useful. But the really, really amazing thing about it is this little hook here, which hooks into a hole in the simmering basket, and then it becomes a doddle to take your hot steaming simmering basket out of the thermomix, then you can even lean it up against the side here to drain before you move it away. And if you're cooking rice in there, the lid flips open and you can just pour the rice in the, in the um, bowl. I love it. Okay, and that's that. There is the last bit here, which is your whisk, which again is a phenomenal thing. And I understand that the man who invented it, it was actually his PhD. So clever. And the, the whisk sits on top of the blade like that, and you give it a tiny little twist and it sort of it doesn't lock it 
just sits snugly on top of the blade. And the one major thing to know is that the whisk should never ever be used beyond speed four because it will fly off and then it will break and then you have to buy a new whisk. Okay, so please bear that in mind. Never over speed four for your whisk. And then, so the, the feet of the Permanix, let me show you, are these are the scales and they're the three feet at the bottom. So you should never ever drag your Thermomix, you should always lift it by this handle here um, to shift it. It's a good little motto, mantra, lift to shift. Um, and one other thing I have to tell you is that the arms, when you turn the speed dial, the arms will lock. I spoke about it earlier with the um, turbo function as well. Never ever lift up your thermomix by these arms, please, because they are delicate and um, it should never be lifted that way. We're going to stop the thermomix now and the arms release. So as soon as you start operating it as a safety feature, the lid is locked on so there's no way it can fly off. And so that's it. Um, I've shown you all the bits and the functions and I hope it's been useful that you soon either get your thermomix or if you've already received it, start using it.